Hello everyone, my name is Ijuba and today I'm walking you guys through how to install door control to your LSPDFR. Just before we go any further, ignore my background right now. I've got files everywhere. This is what happens when you're trying to sort out a series and you're trying to get an episode out every day. Everything goes wrong. I couldn't get an episode to... Oh my god, my English. I couldn't get an episode out today, which is the reason why I'm doing another tutorial video, because this is also trending on LSPFR, and I thought you guys would want to know how to install it. But I couldn't get a British Patrol out today, purely because everything was going wrong. And then when I managed to fix it, a call out absolutely went horribly, like unrealistic, so I just gave up. And I thought I'd do an install tutorial instead, and I'd leave the episode till tomorrow. So the first thing you guys want to do is click the first download link in the description below. Let's bring you guys right here to the door control mod. So basically, this is a really, really nice, neat little plugin. And it simply allows in your LSPFR to select when you want to leave the door open after exiting a police vehicle. And there's a bunch of other options as well. As you guys can see here, if you click on the image, you guys can see you have enable door control, door control on pursuit pullover only, open current vehicle door, close the current vehicle door, repair current police vehicle door, clean, teleport to last police vehicle, spawn favourite police vehicle. So it's kind of a glorified door control and police control, police vehicle control menu. And it's just really, really nice to have, as a lot of you guys will know that the door control is a bit faffy to get through if you guys only have a trainer and things like that. So this is why I'd 100% recommend installing this. So the requirements are the basics. You obviously, you are going to need your LSPDFR, your Rage plugin hook, and your Rage native UI. And you are going to need the most recent legal copy of GTA 5. I had someone ask me the other day about a pirated copy or something like that. And a lot of them ones do not work with them because they oh, oh, excuse my English, automatically detect them. So I also would not recommend using a legal copy. I mean, GTA 5 was free on Epic Games. And it's also really, really cheap on a bunch of other places such as CD keys. So I'm sure you guys can buy it cheaper than rather having a cracked game or whatever you call it and then it not working with most mods so what you guys want to do is click download this file and then agree and download there is no versions he keeps it all up to date and he deletes the old ones there's nothing you can accidentally go wrong with open up the install double click on door control and then double click on contents to gt5 folder and always always the plugins folder is what is going to be going into your gta5 main directory so to do that, open up your file explorer, drag and drop that to the side whilst keeping your download on the other side, navigate to Windows C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Common, or it could have been Program Files 86, Rockstar Games, or Epic Games, but in my case it's Steam. Choose the GTA 5 folder you want to mod. Make sure you have a blank little space here, you can highlight a blue box without any folder being highlighted. And then drag and drop this plugins folder into that grey square. If you double click on plugins and then you go into LSPDFR, you guys should be able to see now if you double click on plugins in LSPDFR that your door control should be just about right here. If you go into your config, as always, you can mess around with the config of the thing and customize it to your liking. So other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Check out my Discord in the link below. You can also check out my Patreon. Cheapest tier being £1, most expensive tier being £5. £1 one, you get tons of benefits. £5 one, you get even more benefits, including a free LSPDFR livery pack. I will make for you custom to order for you guys. You, you'll, be, you'll be the only one to have it, but I will not let you re-upload it to LSPDFR. Website, anything like that, claiming it as your own, but you will be the only one to have it. Unless you give it to your friends or things like that, but no actual uploading it to the LSPDFR website. But if you guys are also looking for some really, really neat little LSPDFR British Patrol series, then you can check out my new series that I just started. I have got one episode already. The new one coming tomorrow, depending on the time you've watched this video. It might already be out, but as the time I'm recording this video and the time this video will come out, it'll be coming out the next day. As I explained at the start of this video, everything went absolutely horrible today. This is why I'm doing an install tutorial instead. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for the continued support, and I'll see you guys in the next LSPDFR tutorial video.